Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will speak about this new update. It was a request from many subscribers. They are asking me if I know something about FC200, when will be the next update. I do have also subscribers that are asking me if they pay the license because the license expired, if they are able to make the new update. From what I know, yes, when you pay the updates, you should be able to make the last update. It doesn't matter. You didn't pay and you pay after that. All of the companies proceed like that. And uh, in my opinion, this is the most important update in the last one year. Also, it's the most expected update. As I said uh, on the last time when I showing you FC200, the CG company make uh, update related to this uh, EDC16. And they provide also this adapter. And they have a lot of minuses there. They, you can read only a few issues from BMW and also few from Mercedes. I believe uh, Fiat it was also there, but not so many like uh, like now. We will go very quick through all of these uh, protocols here. Then uh, you will uh, understand now with this update. Actually, you don't need to use the clone anymore. I mean, all these clones, forget it. What you have it in the market, you can forget all of them. I mean, for the Bosch, definitely this one. At this moment, this one is the best programmer, and I know what I'm saying. It's the best programmer for Bosch, okay? It doesn't cover so much ECU related with Delphi, Siemens, or something like that, or an another um, Japanese. We don't have it, but when we speak about Bosch, definitely, at this moment, this is the best programmer. And now, it's able to read all of these issues from EDC16, okay? And we will grow very uh, quick through all of these issues from here. It's like uh, when we have here the first one, you know very good this one, it belongs to Audi 4 You will find it also on Audi 4 B, uh, B7. The, the next one, the C1, this one is uh, founded on the BMW E46. This one, it is uh, from Toyota. You find it also in Toyota Corolla, I managed to read a few times this one. The next one you will have on Volvo, but also uh, I found this one in uh, BMW, the 5 Series. It was the E60, E61, they have also this uh, issue. And the next one is the Mercedes uh, issue. It's fitted in A class and B class Mercedes. This one is from Peugeot and Citroën. Yeah, I do have also video, I believe, with uh, comparing these two clones from Kess and Galetto on this issue, clone from the case. This one is uh, BMW. It's fitted also on E60, E90, X3 and so far. Another one is Renault. You have a Renault Master. You have an Opel. This one from here, Opel and Nissan. This one you find it more in American cars like um, Chevrolet, GMC. The next one, the 39 is Fiat Ducato. Peugeot Expert are in this small uh, transporter fitted. This one is Renault and also Nissan Patrol. We have here Fiat and Alfa Romeo. We have also Opel Astra H and also Opel Zafira B. This one is from Nissan Qashqai. You find it also because mo most of these issues you have it on this Japanese car Nissan. You'll have also in Renault and Opel. And also this one is in the Renault Laguna and uh, Megan 2, if I don't make a mistake, and also Opel brands. This one is the issue used on Audi, on the bigger class from Audi, like A6, A8, Q7, Touareg. And when I'm finished with this uh, procedure to show you all these uh, updates and this issue, we will perform a read on this one. Believe me or not, I didn't try. You noticed also I don't have the update uh, done. And this is the laptop for experiment because I don't install this programmer on my PC and I said you also why because they are trying to track your information and your location and I don't agree with this one and this is the reason why I use all the time separate laptop for all these programmers okay we go to next one this one is also in Mercedes you have an S320 it's a double Y221 the model also Nissan Renault use this uh, issue this one is fitted in Ford like for Galaxy, for Mondeo, uh, Citroen, also in Peugeot, because at that time um, 
Ford used the uh, engines from Peugeot and, and Citroën. Um, this one, it is one of the most uh, tuned issue, is Golf 5, okay? Also, you should be able to read the EDC 16U1, who is also in uh, Volkswagen Charan and all of these VAC cars from Volkswagen. But you should pay attention on this EDC 16U01 because it's one of the most complicated EDC 16 issues, okay? It's fucked up. I mean, I tried to read, let's say, three weeks ago with uh, Flex through OBD and of course the Flex fucked me. It was not possible. I take it out, I read it on bench, okay? I know for sure you can read this issue with only one programmer and that will be Galetto. When I say Galetto, I say original one, okay? You can read the EDC 16 U01 through OBD. Maybe you will believe I speak here bullshit, you know? But try for yourself and, and let me to know which programmer can read this EDC 16 U01 through OBD. And you will see you have only two programmers. One is Galetto, as I said, original one. And the second one, it's a CMD flash, okay? This issue is for tractors. You will have in uh, Lamborghini or uh, Deutz. I don't deal with kind of job, okay? I don't work on trucks or on tractors. Not yet. Who knows in the future? This one also belongs to Audi. The last one is fitted on Opel. You will find on Opel uh, Vectra C. Insignia still have this issue. Uh, GMC, sub company use this issue and on the number two we have different protocols like for example the first one this one you'll find on Isuzu the next one is fitted on Renault Master and if you have on Renault you have also on Opel when we speak about this transporter they are the same and as I said Renault Master 3 on with engine 2.3 liters and also on Mercedes on GLE 2.2 liter okay the next one you will find it on Ford Ranger and Iveco this one is an, on JCB and we go here to the last one because they are saying they are fixing some problem with uh, engine connection all of this stuff this one is fitted on Isuzu okay and you noticed they fixed the issue, but they still not support the E-series, okay, from uh, BMW. Now I will do the update, and after that, when the update is finished, we will try to read the EDC 16C P34, okay? And the issue is connected. This one is a EDC 16C P34 from Tuareg. If you noticed, we have both of them. We have U31, and this is our engine PKS. Okay, and this is the issue. We read to platform mode. It's everything done according to the background it's just that simple okay and now we try to connect to the issue takes a little bit after that i will modify the file let's say i make uh, dpf off and then i will write it back okay now we will read one after each other we don't have the option here on the menu to make a full backup but maybe in the future.
Yes, I'll provide them because if I'll provide them this data, they will improve, okay? Because also in other programmers, they will take your data. Actually, when you save the data, you save it first in the server, then in your PC. It doesn't matter, it's launch, it's auto flash, it's uh, cast, all of them they will save first in the server and then you will have it on PC, okay? This is the reason why they have all the time with these original files. From where the fuck they have all these uh, original files. Okay, now let's take forward. From what I noticed on this dimension, the exterior EEPROM is the EEPROM and the P flash over here on this ECU is micro, micro flash. And external flash is uh, the normal flash, okay? And what I want to mention you, it cannot make the checksum correction, okay? None of these uh, EDC 16 issues have this support for a checksum correction, then be careful. Okay, we have all this data over here. I will modify the file and we will proceed to write the data back, okay? Okay, now let's load the file. You noticed I modified the DPF, flaps, EGR and TVA, okay? Now we will proceed to write this one and see how quick it is. Yes? Here we will skip this one, it's because the data are similar. Okay, and now we are ready to go. As I said, it doesn't make the checks and correction. Okay, before to, before to close the video, as I said, uh, we go a little bit back. And let uh, show you something before to close the video, like for example, Let's say uh, you want to go on BMW 5 Series E60, for example, because as I said, we sold a protocol, it's over there on this issue. Okay, let's take the. Okay, and what I want to show you here, you don't find this EDC system. Okay, I hate uh, on this program this functionality. Actually, it doesn't have this functionality to go with uh, your arrow from the keyboard down. You should go with mouse. I hate this, really. Look, we don't have... 
ABC system okay they are still missing a lot of uh, information over here let's try to go on E61 and also the engine what is the 535 we don't have it here they are the same okay let's try to make on the settings to make all of this together and you notice now when we go on BMW we have this fucking issue you see they still have to work on this uh, software I will send also the video for them to improve this uh, search on the menu because you, you have this issue over here but when you want to find this one for let's say E60 you don't have it there okay you have C1 C31 as, as I said and C35 okay also similar with Audi U31 34 okay all of them they are here and CP is test but uh, it works I hope now you have all this information. If you decide to buy this programmer, it's up to you. I will never tell you to buy this programmer. I just tell you it's a very good programmer. In my opinion, it's the best one for uh, Bosch issues at this moment. You don't have checksum correction if it's a big minus, but maybe in the future, and if the people help also a little bit this company, they'll grow up. Stop buying this, all these shits from the internet, uh, KT200, DFOX, uh, Tag Flash now, it's the newest one, who is the clone from Galetto, okay? If you want to buy Galetto, I spoke with the company, uh, Galetto provide a good uh, price, it's only 3,500 euro with all this license, everything, uh, everything included, okay? Not only bench, it's also in boot, and for all of these issues, you know, uh, at this moment Galetto have the best price on the market. Stop buying these clones if you do this job professional, use original tools. If you are DIY or hobby, it's up to you what you use for your car, okay? But don't tell me it was bad or good or not. I cannot give you advice to buy this program, another program, it's your money. If something is wrong, all the time you come and you complain that you, yeah, you tell me to buy this one and now it doesn't work. It can happen, you know, shit happens. I cannot know everything and also the company who produced this they don't take responsibility. Why I should take responsibility for something what I don't know for sure? Because in my case it works, you see the video, but in your case it can be different, okay? Okay, that's it to speaking. Uh, I hope the video it was useful for you. And like always, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.